Hey guys, what's up? Shane Von Black Bear here. So I just wanted to let you guys know I'm not going to disclose too much of what's going on. I mean, you guys see some stuff. Um, how can I put this without sounding crazy? I mean, I already had CAT scans done. I went to a therapist like off and on to make sure I wasn't fucking crazy. And then other people that would visit my house started hearing like my voice and I wasn't around or their voice was being mimicked right in front of them to them. <sighs> I have a um, diocesan priest, a Catholic priest coming tomorrow to bless my house. And if need be, within the next week, uh, they're going to have possibly perform an exorcism on everyone at the house. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record it, if they're going to let me. I will see what I can do the best I can for you guys. I mean, it's some pretty crazy intense stuff to begin with, so I can't really see anything. It's pretty foggy out. I had to go get some melatonin. Um, I don't know. Just so much weird stuff's happening, and like I can't take it anymore. It's to the point like I want to move. And I fought so hard to get my grandma's house. And my brother was living there previously. And it's been happening since I was a kid. But it's never did like mimicking or copycat voices of anybody. That's never happened before. And like you guys know I just had an investigator team out. And I just had to contact another one because the other one is doing like a TV show or something. So I'm like, great. They probably Googled everything that was about my family to come up with the shit that they did. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, I had PTSD, so they wanted to think of something that had to do with that. But the other investigators did say that living in a situation like that is going to cause you to have PTSD. That is the only issue I have is like a stress anxiety disorder. Because I'm constantly on eggshells at my house. I can't really do anything. Because, like, it freaks me out. And it doesn't matter if it's day or night. And, like, my daughter, she'll say some weird shit and then she'll snap back into being hurt. It's, 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 it's insane. And it doesn't help that my house is shaped like the Amityville Horror House either. And that my house is on Civil War land. It was on the Medic House. There was Native Americans that were slaughtered here. I mean, like all that stuff with the Pontiac, Susquehannock Indians happened here. Oh, it's just insane. Like, I don't want to record this stuff at my house because I'm afraid of stuff happening while I'm recording. Like, the other day, I just, I went in to record something about dealing with German Shepherd puppies and their nipping behaviors and, and getting them to listen because they're stubborn, obviously. And, uh, my phone was in vertical selfie mode. It wasn't in rear-facing camera. And my phone took over a hundred different pictures. And the way that I was sitting and where I was, there wasn't a window. There was no light source. Nothing. So what it took a picture of and all this weird stuff and these weird orbs and it looked like it like like there was a it looked like a doorway was on the wall and there's no door on the wall and it was lit up with light. I can't explain it and I can't believe a Catholic priest got back to me that fast. And I'm like, I am freaking out. I just had to go get melatonin so I can sleep. They'll be here at eleven in the morning. I just I'm hoping it doesn't make it worse. Or that it pretends it's gone. Regular spirits, ghosts, relatives don't stick around for too long. And they don't copycat your voice. That That's demonic stuff. So the team that I'm waiting to hear back from has a demonologist. And, and they're going to be contacting them and bringing them up. <sighs> I just, I've been losing a lot of sleep, stressed out. I just, I'm exhausted. I really can't take any more. And I'm trying to, like, keep this barrier up and keep strength up. And, like, a lot of people are atheists and antichrists and don't believe this stuff exists. 
Well, there's other people that are curious of it. And like I said, the haunted objects that I have, I am 100% getting rid of them. The one is actually missing. It was like a pestle cup. And it has Wiccan signs on it. And where I got it from. I think there was stuff that was attached to it. I'm not sure. I'll find out soon enough. And when I do, I will keep you guys updated on my lovely haunted house. Thank you guys for going through this experience with me. Because if it wasn't for like it, sharing it with people and keeping it in for as long as I have since I was younger. And like as much as it's going on, I don't, I don't think I would have... Uh, Made it this far. And like I said, I had a brain scan and everything else done. And everything's normal. I just have post-traumatic stress disorder. And it's because of living in this house as a kid. And then coming back. And I've been changing the house around and flipping it for the past two years. So every time I do something new, of course it's going to cause activity in the house. But it's to the point now, like, if I hang up crosses, they split, they fall, they go missing, and it's not my pets doing it, and it's t up too high for me to do it, and my daughter, I'm 4'11", if I can't reach it, <clears throat> after using, like, a ladder to put it up, and it's my dad, so I have to borrow it, um, yeah, there's, I don't have any explanation. In my last video, I was talking to whatever it was, because he said, we'll respond back to it, see if it responds to you. It just keeps going and making these sighing noises, and then it was using a cup to communicate with me. It just, and I was actually taking a piss at that time, so on the video that I have, yeah, now you guys know I was taking a, I was taking a whiz while I was recording that video. Can you imagine how uncomfortable that was? I'm trying not to be scared of it, because it'll give it more power. Alright guys, have a good one. I'm sorry this is seven minutes. I don't know how to edit videos to save my life. So, like in the cup video, all that weird lighting, I have no idea what that was. I don't know. All this weird stuff keeps happening. And then, like, I'll be in the middle of doing something and my phone just starts glitching and the battery just wears down when it was, like, up to almost full capacity. It just drops down to, like... In between 17 to 33 percent after it was just at 100 and I only used it for a minute or so. Outside of the house, it worked perfectly normal. But it is dark out. I have to go in my house. I'm freaked out. I'm just going to take my melatonin. I am done. Alright, see you guys on the next haunted house adventure here at my place. Thank you for sticking around for the series. Bye!